Hey everyone, my name is Derek Altoff. I'm the Ski School Training Manager here at Deer Valley Resort. What we're going to run through today is essentially what to expect from a beginner lesson when you come out here. So the first step in learning to ski is doing some flat work. So walking, sliding, wedging, and stopping. That's step one. Uh, we start that off by simply doing some boot work where you're walking around in your ski boots. Um, that's also a time where we introduce some fundamental movements that are gonna help you be successful once you do click into your skis. From there, what we'll have you do is experience the sensation of sliding for the first time. This is typically done with some scooter turns or something like that. Once you click into both skis, we're simply gonna help you learn to navigate on flat terrain. After learning to slide with both skis on, what we'll teach you to do is sidestep up the hill and then slide down the hill in a gliding wedge. In the gliding wedge, it provides you a platform to maintain balance as you're learning to slide and eventually stop in that wedge. After mastering the gliding wedge and learning to stop, you'll head into the green conveyor area where you'll gain ownership of speed control in a wedge and also learn your first turns. After entering our green conveyor area, the first step is learning to ride a conveyor lift. The way we do this is kind of introduce the process and talk through it before actually attempting it for the first time. After you ride the conveyor and get to the top, the next step is getting off the lift. This is coached through by your instructor prior to getting on the lift so you're set up for success when you get there. The first run you'll have in our green conveyor area is simply sliding and stopping in a wedge repeatedly as you slide down the hill. You'll make one or two laps of this until you've gained enough control to attempt a gliding wedge. Gliding wedge allows you to maintain speed at the same rate all the way down the hill. Once you've achieved this, the next thing that we're going to do is introduce turning. Turning allows you to control speed and stop on more difficult terrain, so it's important that you gain ownership of this skill prior to moving on to any other terrain. After learning to turn on our green conveyor, it's time to move on to the yellow conveyor. While skiing off the yellow conveyor, you're gonna master turning and begin to use turn size and turn shape for speed control. You wanna rely on turn shape as opposed to a wedge. There's a series of cones set up that allow us to dictate a turn for you. This helps you understand turn shape and gives you a target to aim for when shaping your turns. After mastering your turns on the yellow conveyor, we'll move up the hill to our blue conveyor. In the train off of our blue conveyor, you'll master turning on your own. Here we don't have cones to turn around, so it'll be up to you to shape your turns to control speed and stop. Once you've mastered good speed control and you're skiing confidently, the next step is to learn to ride a chairlift. We introduce chairlift riding at a stationary chair that's no longer attached to a lift. The next step in a beginner pathway here at Deer Valley is to ride the snowflake lift. Your instructor will coach you on what to expect. This includes where to wait, where to stop, and when to go when riding a lift. Once it's time to load the lift, your instructor will take you up to a red line in the snow. At this line, you'll wait for the chair to come around and then follow that chair up to the green line. Once you get to the green line, it's important to look over your shoulder and wait for the chair to come to you. Once the chair arrives, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride to the top. A common misconception when learning to ski is that spending time on flat work and in our conveyor area and focusing on skill development is not really skiing. This is the time where fundamental skill development is gained and gaining ownership of these skills is extremely important for your development as a skier. A lot of beginners tend to move on to too difficult terrain too quick. When this happens, people get stuck with very inefficient and very ineffective movement patterns and can limit skiers' success as their skiing ability develops. Thanks for watching everyone. Come ski the difference. Looking forward to seeing you.